You guys ready for today, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out something different to do with my look. What are you doing with your tongue? Figure it I'm out, man. I'm trying to figure it out, man. Bro, I just, stop playing with the tongue, bro. I just want to do something different. Well, dude, come on. I got you, bro. Take the hat off. Nah, dude. Bro, you take got, the fucking You got to pay $100 for that. Bro, ain't nobody. What do you mean? You have nothing up there. You're just, just put it on top. We'll be all right. Oh, my God, bro. This is the most gentrified shit I've ever done in my whole life. You look like a lawyer for the Bloods. I'm out. You happy with that? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the globe. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. We have a special guest. Jones. Hey. hey. In the building. Got Jimmy, we're going to talk about your history in the footwear game, what you've been up to lately. First thing I want to do is uh, run by the sneakers everyone's wearing today. Welty, what do you got on? Just got some Adidas tobaccos. Okay. <laughs> Harry Suede, <laughs> as they call them, the UK, backies. Man, yeah, yeah, backies. The backies. Lesson. Appreciate that. Beautiful. Um, I did the Nike SB Melvins today. You know, I took it back from my, my SB heads or whatever, just you know, having fun, the Melvins. Mm -hmm. I never understood what they said about SBs. It just wasn't called SBs in the hood when I was coming up when they first came out. They were called dunks. Mm. Well, no, it is a dunk. You're I, right. You're totally right. I think the SB is just for the skateboard inside of it, but it's the same shoe, though. And then you got a Nike SB. No, the SB is the dunk. There's no difference. There's some differences. Technical. So some, some technical differences. Oh, the tongue. The tongue, the tongue is fatter. The, the tongue is fatter. The tongue is better for skating. We got to go to the lab. We're going to be a heavy debate. <laughs> debate. I love it. I love it. If Nike tell tell wins. The SBs and the dunks are not the same sneaker. That's kind of crazy. No, you don't want this debate. You'll lose today. <laughs> You'll lose today. I'm ready. He's rubbing his I'm hands ready right for now. It. Let's I'm go. Just, I mean, I don't ride skateboards, but I know. You guys used yeah. to have a rollerblading blading team, though, right? Dip dip skate. Skate, yeah. yeah, I used to have a rollerblading team. So long ago. Jim, Jim, what sneakers you got on? Yeah, no, he said they'd call it Tailwinds. Um, we don't really. Everything. At, where I'm from, sneakers are called what we call them. I'm from where if the match, you got to catch that drip. All right, come on, Brenda. I have on the uh, Reebok Crooked Tongues Classic Leather. We're shooting this on the birthday of Gary Warnett, rest in peace. So I decided to bring him out. Uh, right. Shout out, hey, shout out Mooby too. You like the snake skin on those, Jim? That's fire. Big shout out to Mooby, am I right? Those look actually pretty good, I ain't mad. It's a good Reebok. Fun. Those are the drug dealer specials where I, where I was from. All right. Bach Boys. Right. When those was out. Gentlemen, first thing we want to talk about a couple uh, current events in the world of sneakers. Wealthy, what do we have? Yeah, the first thing that's uh, coming out is StockX. Shout out Josh Luber. Uh, Shout out the gang. Show. Yeah, they're actually opening a permanent store in New York City. They had a few pop-ups, but you're going to be able to go into their it's store. It's like a sneaker store, right? Yeah. Well, StockX is like a online thing now. Yeah, it's and a, they're about to bring it on so the ground. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah, we, we went mm -hmm. to a StockX But it's event, online. So it's a sneaker store whole... online. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's like the new eBay for sneaker people. You really Did sec. you get the StockX bag? So, I mean, don't worry about my back ever. <laughs> but StockX Day was amazing. Out. They flew him out. <laughs> they flew, they, I got fluked out. You know they what I'm saying? Out. I got fluked mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got to see their verification center. I got to see just how StockX runs. You know, it's a big company. Shout out to Josh, Luber, Matt Luber, um, Dan Gilbert. Got to meet the, um, that's this picture that you see up here, um, Jim. Dan Gilbert is one of the most successful businessmen in America. He owns the Cavs, stuff like that, Quicken Loans. That's his thing. He's a good guy. You know, shout out to Nick Gilbert, his son. He usually. You met the whole Gilbert family? Oh, uh, yeah, basically. You were you obligated to shout all these people out to fucking get <laughs> Nah, but you know me <laughs> Love is love. Love is love. One plane ticket. That's pretty dope. Love is love, though. You know what I'm saying? But now, StockX Day, um, this is a third annual one. Shout out to that. You know, it was a good time. And uh, with StockX for having the stores now, it's going to be on Lafayette. Yeah, they're going to have a store how do you, in Lafayette. How do you feel about that, Brendan? I'm Facebook not interested crooked. in it. The, the, the reason I like StockX, so you ship your shoes and then they ship them to the person who buys them. The reason I like StockX is because I don't have to talk to anybody when I sell my shoes. So I don't want to go into a store and, ha you know, I just want to put a label on it and put it in the mail. You know what I mean? I want to yeah. start selling some of my sneakers. I Yo, got yeah, too Jim, many sneakers. Jim, you ever resold sneakers? Never, but I got maybe thousands. You about to liquidate the collection? Oh shit, about to do some. Somebody already offered me like 300,000 for like... All right. 
You got a bunch of Air Force Ones in the stash, too? Yeah, all types of Oh, Air I would ones. imagine. All Crazy Jim, colors. I want to talk about the Air Force Ones. You ever did the Puerto Rico Air Force Ones back in the day? Yeah, I had those. You know, starting back in 2000. At the, at the Puerto Rico Day Parade. Great. Yeah, so mm-hmm. check this out. There's this new pair. It looks like they're coming out this year. The image is leaked. Nike hasn't confirmed it yet, but... Basically, DJ Clark Kent is apparently having an issue with the shoes. He didn't mention the shoe directly, but he kind of mentioned this print that's used on him that he says, Mola, forgive me if I'm not saying that correctly, is a Panamanian print, and then Nike kind of messed up their cultural signifiers here. The so shoe, they put a Panamanian print on a, on a Puerto Rican shoe. Yeah, it, it's kind of what he's alluding to. Correct. So this is supposed to be the new Puerto Rico shoe? Right. Yeah, they put a Panamanian print With Panamanian print art on it? Yeah, yeah. it's getting canceled. That's what they say. Nike got Should to Nike get this so long. They just things. changed the tongue and put Panamanian on top, sell them as some Panamanian sneakers, and make a new um, Puerto Rico sneaker. Free idea for you, Nike. We, I, I, we don't know if it's going to happen. I think they're just going to pull the plug on the whole thing. But yeah, they could go Panama. We'll see. Somebody will buy them. Yeah. <laughs> the Puerto Rico joints were big uptown, though, right? Yeah, the Puerto Not Rico joints was big uptown. Big deal, big yeah. deal. Yeah. East side of Harlem. Uh-huh. There's everybody over there. Is Puerto Rican and I used to get my hair cut in East Harlem. Where we at? Uh, I don't remember the street. Yeah, it was a Czech woman. What was your barber name? Uh, Radka. You got to remember the street because I got to know if you was actually in Harlem. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm like gonna get you the coin. Should I text her? It felt the Harlem vibe. <laughs> like I need to know the exact street. Harlem starts on 110th Street. Okay, it was above 110th. All right, cool. I promise you, Jim. You was, le- you was legit. Moving forward, guys. Um. And of course, you're familiar with the off whites and stuff that people rock yes. with the Virgil Abloh. Sounds to, sounds to Virgil. He sent, <laughs> sent me a package the other day. I yeah. appreciate it. It came brother. in the mail. Virgil, come on the show. How big was the package? It was cool. I had, I had, a, I had a few pieces in there. He wasn't stingy. And okay. I got a yeah. pair of shoes. Was okay. it the crate you were asking him for on Instagram or no? <laughs> no, nah, that, that wasn't that. But I definitely, <laughs> de- I definitely DM'd him like, I need some of this. I need, I need, I need <laughs> some of this drip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, come on. Plan. So I bought Virgil. He's dropping um, the new line. It's all women's line, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And they're doing a, a new off-white shoe. So this is the, if I'm not mistaken, a Tiger? The Zoom, Zoom Terra Zoom. Tiger 5. There it is. Zoom. It's a trail shoe. I don't really get this, you know, it's it's a collection inspired by track and field, but they got a trail shoe in the middle of there, and they put some spikes on the bottom of it. It's got like, it's got like fake track spikes and rubber on I need on someone at Nike to explain this one to me, because I'm... I'm How you feel about these, you personally? It depends on the out. It depends if I had the right Nike outfit to go with it. Okay. If you still match from head if to the, toe? If the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the track outfit or the or that type of sports athleisure mm. apparel If the drip gave it right that, with it. Ooh, what's yeah, sports we, what, what sport are we do playing that. in them? Huh? Okay. Are we playing sports in them or just? Nah, we just stunting. Okay. Just because they off-white. Okay. Stunting the off-white drip. We're not going trail running or, you know, hit nah, the track? Nah, we're not going to hit the track or none of that. So now I want to now get back into these facts. Dipset holds a... A high regard for me, not just on music, but fashion. I love fashion. I'm a fashion nigga. What is the influence of Harlem when it comes to sneakers? Period in America, just or just New York. I How mean, do you feel? New York is New York is is the fashion capital of the world. I mean, the way we wear our shit is way iller than anybody who makes it. You mm-hmm. dig? Like we make your shit look good. We make mm-hmm. other people want to go get that shit. Like, nah, that shit, Jim. I seen them shits in the store. I was like, then I seen Jim and them niggas with them shits on them Different shits. Different animal. Was, I gotta get them. Right, 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 right. Was there was there any certain shoes that you feel like you guys deserve the credit for making them cool? Yeah, ones up uh-huh. Um this, Now this might this is going to be a very controversial because I know niggas in Newark and Baltimore are gonna go crazy. But that's the Nike boots with the air bubble at the bottom. Yes. Oh. They start in Harlem. Oh. All facts. What? Oh, Nike Wale is boots. Not gonna, Jim, nah, Wale. Wale, Wale Nike, is on the show. Wale is not Wale gonna be happy about this. Wale might have came to Harlem and got a pair of them joints. <laughs> Jesus. But that's a fact. There it is. They started Nike on the 145th Street in Broadway. You can ask my man Luca Brazi when they first came in the store. This might have been 01. Have you spoken fir- to Wale about this? Wale well, don't want to have no sneaker conversation with me. Come, we, got, we, got, we got to give see, respect see to Wale. What, no, what I'm saying is, wait, 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 Jim, what Jim, I'm Jim, saying Jim, is Jim. these dudes, you'll go by, oh, I got the exclusive. No, 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 no. Kintar- <laughs> Contemporary Chinese <laughs> Japanese Jim. elephant year of the of the dragon Tuscan. You see, and them shits be dead whack. Yo, this is an important note. Yo, real quick, real quick. This just be real Jim. weak. Real quick, I want Sewer I want to give I want to give all respect to Wale. Not the into that. Because I'm sometimes saying, sometimes Wale, Wale thinks fly. Wale he thinks fly. Now we're talking about a lot of them stuff. sneakers he be wearing be boo boo too. I don't like them. Jokes. Wale, you have a lot of rappers be wearing boo boo sneakers. All complex. All them Balenciagas and all these shits and shit like that. 
I don't, I mean, listen, I don't care about the sneaker culture. You'll be like, oh, I probably got more sneakers than 90% of the whole sneaker culture. I don't want to talk to y'all when it comes to sneakers. You did, my son probably got, he been having more sneakers than y'all since he was six. I don't want to talk to y'all when it comes to sneakers. I get fly. I don't care who make the sneakers. If it match my outfit and I need them, I'm going to get them. If they off-white, if they this person, mm. if they Dior, if it match and it look good, I'm going to get them. I don't wear clown shoes. I don't wear big shoes. I don't wear shoes with three heels on them. I don't do none of that. Thank you for that. I'm from Harlem. He does. He I'm, does. Dig, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fly nigga. I'm, I'm a get, dope nah, boy. The fuck is you talking dig, about, is a whole, I'm from New York. Everybody everywhere they got got their own fashion, and it works for those. You dig? Jim, what, what do you think about the, the Nike boots now? They're like a cop sneaker, though. You know what I mean? Like we we ain't we don't do Nike boots no more. We we went all the way back to Timberlands. Mm. When did Nike boots Yellow die out? Construction. What year did Nike boots die out? Right after they stopped wearing True Religions. Because mm, they fit they, right. right. Exactly. Mm. With the See, you know, it's exactly. Yeah, I gotta give you a prop. You understood with we understood the equation. I got you. Jim, right. an, another mm. note on on your influence, Dipset's influence, Supreme. You posted last year about how you feel like you guys. You guys really <laughs> took Supreme. I want to talk about it to another level. Let's talk about. You it. said they owe you a percentage of the company. They after owe me. You they did. owe me at least a, a, a point of a percent or okay. something. They gotta give me some type of kudos over there. They sold for a billion dollars too. They sold for. But I'm not gonna say that I'm responsible for Supreme success. Okay. But I'm responsible. What me? We are. Me and Jewels and the diplomats are responsible for lighting their fire in the hip hop community, right. which is responsible for selling. Them selling for a billion dollars. Part of the but legacy. Raekwon, but Part of wait the a minute. Raekwon had the tea the year before you guys. It wasn't as big as the diplomat tea. Nah. I spent more and money I love on the diplomat And I love Raekwon. Come on but pull show. up the t-shirts right now and see which one costs more money. Tyler Not the that, Creator did a lot. I take none away from Wu-Tang Clan and none of that. But when the diplomats took that one picture, nobody, I'd never heard of, even though Wu-Tang Clan took that picture, I'd never heard of Supreme. I didn't even know they took a Supreme picture until you just said it. Mm. That's Everybody know J Diplomats took a Supreme picture And not to say it like that I'm just nah, saying just At the, the point in time yeah. We took that picture At the leverage we were at In the game That picture catapulted Hi them Into the hip hop community To make them cool enough That <sighs> niggas could start wearing Supreme Niggas did not know What that shit was If you knew how to do Ollies and half pipes And all that That's my guy was over lit. Here. <laughs> That's you? Yeah I used to spit yeah, You yeah, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is You had a Supreme hoodie on Big Supreme logo All stupid over it That wasn't lit Niggas wasn't rocking that, that big, no. Not uptown, nobody had a Supreme nothing. As a matter of fact, niggas wasn't wearing Supreme after we took the picture, not until years later but when Supreme started saying. getting cool. That's and what then I'm our saying. t-shirt started turning into a $2,000 t-shirt. Fact. Jim, who was the biggest sneakerhead in Dipset? Did you guys used to be like competitive with each other? I can't front. Cam got like four storages full of sneakers. Cam might got like 5,000 pairs of sneakers. He's been giving them away too. He'll just pull up to a block and just yeah. like he toss really, a bunch out on the basketball. He, 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 he pulled out a pair of uh, lime green 95s the other night that he had for like seven years. He's like, man, I had these and I, I was in the, 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 the storage the other day. I pulled these out for the dip for the dip shirt, shirt to match them. Like, he got all type of retarded sneakers. When we were young coming up, and about 13, 14. When oh, first, teenage, okay. When we young, first young. met each other, okay. we used to call each other bums if we caught each other with the same thing on twice in a row, like two days in a row. Right, hey, you right, bum right. Nigga, you still got that fit Right, on. right, right, right. But when right. we had the new fit, we made sure we popped up in front of each other, like, what's up? You know, I get fretted. This is how I do it, nigga. Right, fuck right, you talking right, about? Right. We get money on this side, but we always had that friendly competition which the whole Harlem had. Like, Did you have was, that with Dame too? Because I've heard the crazy Dame stories back in the day. Dame was a little bit older than us and shit like that and Dame yeah, say didn't kicks, get too fly. He was just from Harlem so he Dame didn't him. get fly? Not that yeah, fly. Yeah, kicks. Yeah, I feel like he had, I feel like he had a regular, all, he had the regular Harlem get up. He wasn't a yeah. fly nigga in Harlem. Okay. White tee. You dig? Like niggas cool. didn't dress like Dame in Harlem in that mm. era. You dig? Keeping it in Harlem. I want to ask you this question. When it comes to the ASAP mob, right? Mm -hmm. Being real Harlem niggas and shit like that and they get jiggy. They get fly. How do you feel when it comes to their fashion compared to Dipset? Is there any comparison? It's, it's, or? it's a different era of Harlem. Okay. You dig? Okay. Like, they heavy into fashion. Right, right. You dig? Like, ASAP Rocky can get away with wearing some weird shit. Right. Mm -hmm. It's fashion. Right. On the show. We into splashing. Mm. You did? Important okay. difference. You get the difference? Okay. Everything that we've been wearing and making look good, now right. they getting checks for Calvin Klein. Now they getting checks for <laughs> right. Dior. Now they getting Under checks. Armor. Which you is dig? amazing. Beautiful. Super stupid. Like you Pass think I'm not, I'm not taking that. I'm just saying like 
They sophisticated it and figured out the loop of, right. oh, I'm just not going to spend my money and wear your shit and make your niggas look good. Right. You're going to pay me to wear all of that weird shit and I'm going to look good in, no matter what it is because it's fashion now. I and love that. And I'm a model now. You just paid me a grip for it. Right. You guys talk you know, a lot? Do you guys who, talk to Rocky? My, oh, my little brothers. Like, for, right, right. That's why I, I had to ask that. Like. Fer, our Ferg used to come to my studio way before he was rapping when he was doing just shirts fashion and, stuff, right? and making shirts. belts oh, and yeah. making his t-shirts and shit yeah. like that. Like that, That's that's how I, I learned. Plus, I know uh, Ferg's father and shit. You know, he's a little bit older than us, but it's all a right. tight-knit community and shit. If Jim, you, Jim, I want to talk about Jordans. I want to talk about the incident in 2015 with the Jordan 11s. You know what I'm talking about? The Ray Allens. Yeah, I want to talk about that. We were just talking about that earlier. What happened? Nothing happened. It was Nothing a pair, It was a pair of PEs that... Allegedly. Allegedly, that people... I gave them to the guy from there. I gave them to the dude. That dude that worked here, I said, take them for you. Take them with you and right. take them to the complex and, and, and tell them to tell me if these is, is real or not. And what was the verdict? I never got a verdict. They look kind of fake, right, though? The guy solely ghost? He, he had them in the video with the response. Jim, are you standing by those sneakers? I'm not standing by nothing because I don't have the sneaker. I gave them to the dude that worked at Complex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is that? It was the dude that was doing the interview that day. Or was he worked for Vlad? No, no, no. no. We don't know that Vlad. guy. Vlad. We don't know that guy. It was Vlad. It was, it was Vlad. Vlad. It was Vlad. So, I gave it to so you, you did you? Because I'm a little... Sneaker watch, um, right? You, wa Vlad's you thing. paid yeah. for the sneaker or somebody gave it to you as a no, gift? I paid for, I paid for oh, them. Was much? it crazy expensive? Like six, seven hundred, some shit like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe okay. Some shit like that. that. Shit was so long ago, but I had gave him actually to the dude, like take him and check him out, put him on camera. And, and you never got the verdict back. Never got the verdict. Did it hurt? Did you feel like you got got by somebody who sold you a pair of feet? I was I was hurt the fact that people were saying my shit was fake, and I don't really I don't really understand fake. I don't understand right, that as a Harlem nigga, it's like yeah, don't put fake in my name in the same fucking don't sentence. Don't do that. It's I got you. right. Jim, talking about buying sneakers though, you were on the first sneaker shopping episode. Ever. My man Pluma. Pluma. Do you know? Pluma. It? Say it right. Big, no, you, I you call know him you said Pluma. It. Oh. I call him Pluma. Don't call him Pluma. Don't fuck his name up. You heard me? I got it. Like, what what is, wait, what, explain it to me. Gayla Pluma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you said Pluma. I did say but you said did. Pluma. You I'm set trying to figure out. You set the trend off now. That's like the biggest sneaker show on the on the internet. Oh. Yeah, I was. I, I actually DM'd him the other day. Like you doing a lot of things. You owe me some sneakers, man. <laughs> he, he gave you his, his best regards. He said, "Say say hello to Jim." No, that's my guy, man. As well. But, but my favorite part of the episode is when you're talking about tongue fucking the the, the sneak. The yeah, 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 yeah. But this this uptown is what you call a tongue fuck. In case you just wanted to tongue fuck him, you heard me. You know what I'm talking about? They don't know about oh, none of that and all that. I still tongue fuck him. Depends on what kind of sneaker I got on though. Like you get tongue fuck a hot top pair of ears. Okay. Like see, he's tongue fucking them right now. That's a tongue fuck right there. Tongue fuck. Tongue fuck acceptable in some situations? Yeah. <laughs> not all situations? Not all situations. Okay. Like, you just can't be out here trying to tongue fuck everything. You can't. <laughs> I'm gonna write draw, that down. Draw, because... draw your limit when yeah. it comes to tongue notes. fucking. No, that makes sense. That's when you walk everybody. around, they be like, oh, he's a Take tongue notes, fucker. Oh, every time I yeah. see him, he's tongue fucking everything. Like, yo, we don't want to. I've made some mistakes and, you know. Right. Definitely. Be all right. Jim, <laughs> every week here on the show, we have a segment where we punish somebody from what they said last week in the worst take, the most oh. egregious thing they said. The commenters pick it out. It is wealthy this week uh, for, for trying to Back recreate, on track. bring him out uh, by T.I. I guess the people were feeling that. It was almost Trinidad. It was almost um, me. Pull him out. Pull him out. Bring him out. That's bring cool. him out. It might be on this side. Is those right there? No, 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 no. Here's it's the thing. He's got to switch out his sneakers yeah, for some so terrible sneakers. Yeah, you take off your fresh joints to put on some I know, them joints. Well, yeah. <laughs> Tyler I'll actually wear some sketches. <laughs> <laughs> I no, we got to pass them over No, 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 no. I can't do that. I don't want these. I don't want him to wear these. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them back again. Bring them back again. Fuck that. Bring them back again. He got to wear those. He's a dub if you walk anywhere with these. Yo, Jim, you tongue fuck Jim. And if you tongue fuck him, tongue fuck him, tongue fuck Jim. Could Harlem make these hot? No. This is the one shit. The illest Harlem, Harlem nigga. Apple could make these hot. Bro, the illest Harlem listen nigga. Listen to me, bro. You keep, bro. <laughs> nigga, niggas, bro. ASAP Rocky could make these look good. In Jesus. The, in the Calvin Klein ass. Wow. <laughs> Nasty. I would not go to school if I had, if they brought those home for me to wear to school. Gotta Joe, I'd be a dub. I would go crazy you, in the house. You gotta I'd drop kick out. I kick shit over in my house. Some of my, they bring them shits home for me to wear. <laughs> Your mama bring fuck this home, just drop out. Bro, bro. them is na them is them is terrible, bro. <laughs> is you shitting me hot. or is you kidding me? Them is nasty, <laughs> bro. 
So now, Jim, we do a segment called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip being, <clears throat> we see it, we like it, we put it together, it looks good. Flip being, uh, I like it, but I won't rock it, I'll resell it, make some money on that. Skip, we don't fuck with that. Uh, All right? We yeah, gotta call it dip, flip, or skip for- We'll do a dip, flip, or skip. So the dip, right. we take, get rid of the R, we do want to do dip, flip, or skip today. All right? All right? First shoe, we got the Ivory Snake Air Force One. So these I came out like in 96. That's a dip. That's a dip. You got right? the original ones or the, the new ones? No, I got the ones that just came, they about to drop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got them yep. already early. But I got them and I got the sock because the sock yeah. was like the snake at the, the top. The sock at the night. The sock at the top. I want dip, that. That's, I want a that. Dip. That's a dip right there. You That's heard? a dip. That's um, a dip. Brendan, dip, flip, or skip? This is a dip for me. I've, I've been wanting this shoe for a long time, the 1996 version. Actually, full circle moment right here because I remember reading about it on Gary Warnett's blog, Rest yeah. in Peace, Snakeskin Sneaker, and Gary, of course, helped design these. Another snakeskin seeker. So I will yeah. be buying this show. Yeah, this is definitely a dip. It's good to see an OG dip, come back. Dip, dip, dip. All the way dip. You don't even have to worry about it. I can't wait to get these that's and them a, socks that he's talking about. That's Nike snap. That's a nice something. Moving forward, we got the, what's this, 3 by one Nike Air Force One? Yeah. 3 by one So this is a denim store here in New York. You like do uh, denim sneakers, Jim? I got the denim fours. Mm-hmm. You're doing, doing, doing all denim fit with that? Dip the, the denim, denim up down the Yeah. I would do a denim short set. Okay, mm. so dip, flip, or skip? Flip them. Okay. Until I flip them. Jim, do you sure right. it's got to match head to toe when you nah, go out the house? No, it, it, it ain't always got to match head to toe. It's just sometimes it go down like that. You got to know how to coordinate when you're from Harlem. Something presentable. Brandon, Are dip, you flip, saying this skip. is not presentable? That he's... I mean, it depends on where he's going. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he definitely uptown, he's looking like a narc. Like, they be like... Wow. Hey, ha! Put that's, the glasses on my boy that's right now. That's police up in hall. Hey, ha! That's police is coming. It used to be squally right now. Right. Okay. Hey, ha! Oh, wow. No, uh, as soon as you walk on the block. Hey, ha! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Myself up for that one. You too, though. <laughs> you know. <laughs> they like the fences on the block. Fuck it, nigga. Everybody go home, nigga. The real fans is on the block, nigga. Oh. Brandon. All right, let me stop. <laughs> Definitely for skip, sir. That's a skip for me. This shoe would have been cool six years ago, but <coughs> not now. Yeah, yeah no, I can't do stuff. denim sneakers, so it's a skip. Um, it's a skip for me. I'm they could do better. They yeah. could do better. Moving forward though, Fire. we have the Air Max Light too. What is this? The Habanero Ooh. Red. Mm -hmm. uh, so dip, right? Yeah, I just got those the other day too from G's. That's a definitely dip. Did you just give this shoe its own ad lib? Uh, ooh ooh, yeah, yeah, I get a ooh ooh. Okay. You dig? It depends. Some might get the, ah, ah, but that one get a ooh ooh. Any other ad libs like? You know, you gotta depend on what shoe <laughs> come out. It's natural. But them is fly. This is a dip for me. Yeah. Uh, this this is a good. It's good, good easy shoe. It's a good sneaker. Yeah. You yeah. could do that with a lot. This is, this is ooh, a dip. It reminds yeah. me of the... See, now, the, a sneaker like this, you don't got to match too much. Yeah, no. You can just on. put it on, you whatever hat, bust a move. They remind me of the, the Tailwind uh, Kenyas that never uh, came out. It was a shoe from 92, but I like the colorway on He it. pulled up a 92. Well, <laughs> plug, <laughs> tailwind from Kenya that never came out. <laughs> That's not actually valid if they never came out, because I would never know about them. <laughs> That's a flex. That's a weird flex. It's but flex okay. on a nigga, right? Tailwinds from 92. You Maggots don't know nothing about that. You're right. Um, these, now, this is a dip. This is a dip. I like this. So now we do, we didn't talk about shoes. We're going to move into the outfits. The gang. Take, take me. What happens here? What's going on here? What's up? The, the depends. On, this is the year. You got to go back to the year. You're right. No, no, no. Yeah. We just, Super dip. We were influenced by this. That's just what I mean. Niggas is back on big clothes I, now. I was hyped ahead. This is when, <laughs> this is when jerseys was in mm -hmm. that jersey that i had on i was super hyped to cop that before we went to that shit that day i remember that jersey i think i still got that shit in, oh it was in my mom's house but my mom's house had burnt down but i remember that day i was super hyped dip flip or skip that's definitely a dip that is the dips uh, don't, yeah, no, it, it, don't get no dip in that shout out to my man Jewels. free him to free, free, free him to backwards yeah. Yeah. free yes sir yes Freaky sir Ziki. what's up nigga <laughs> Zilla. this is a, this is a dip for me I, I, this is one of those type of outfits that only a, only a certain few can pull off. I, I promise you that. But that bucket, the way Cam rocking that bucket is, ooh, we I'm killed that it. bucket, right? This, this is, is dip. This is like a real, like, uh, it's like a snapshot of an era. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, everyone, you look at this picture, and regardless start if you're think, in the photo, they, start thinking about photo. all type of shit, Come right? Like, you damn, remember exactly where you were at in your exactly, life. Exactly, man. Like, damn. Now, it's a dip. I'm dip set biased, but this is a dip. Like, this is, 
This is a mood board. This is fashion mm -hmm. blogs Definitely. mood board. Like the the way that Joel's was the smallest out of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as frame and stature. And you didn't even think about that back in the day because his clothes were so big. It made it feel like he was the biggest nigga ever. But you was like, oh, nah, this nigga's small, so that fit. It's crazy. Moving forward. Put me. I'm going to dip that. Joel's got the first Supreme jacket on. What's up? He Zeke got on the Renaissance. The Renaissance. <laughs> iceberg. What the That's hard. Oh, iceberg. Ooh. That's what that is. Iceberg. iceberg. I, was looking, I don't know we what it is, ask, but that shit. We're going to have to ask. Fire. Yeah. I remember that was at MTV. Was that at MTV? I think that was MTV or. Uh, the Ren and Stimpy shirt has my full stamp of approval. This is a this is a dip for me as well. That's a dip. <laughs> that did it right there, silly. That's that all, yep. Fuck the fur. What fur? Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy on a sweater. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I couldn't rock it, but if anyone you got enough confidence to rock a Ren and Stimpy shirt, I gotta give it to you. You know what I mean? No, that's yeah. a fire. Yeah. Dip, dip. Keep moving. I don't know about that scuba mask thing. Here we go. Come on. That's the original Come on. dip. That is the legendary, historic, splashing, fashion caption. Come on. Her? That should be in get the Smithsonian, no drippier right? Than that. Exactly. Smithsonian. That's for a fact. Splashing. My do you know what made him wear this? Do you do, do you have this anything was, to know what this? This was the night of Kamora Lee's Fat Farm fashion mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. and you know she had the whole Shout pink thing Lee. going she on. Jeep. So she, he had the pink fur and the pink headband made, and then when we got backstage at the fashion show, Kamora Lee gave him the pink baby fat phone. That nailed it. Did he have the pink range at the time, too? Or? The pink range, of course. That was legendary. <laughs> Brandon, dip, flip, or skip? I mean, what, what more can you say about this? Yeah, like, it's on. dip. Like, I don't want yeah. to ask you guys. This is dip, right? Yeah, so this dip. is the dip. We don't even need to talk about it. We can just show the photo. And right, like, super yeah. dip. This is what made everybody wear pink to this day. Big facts. two chains to whoever wearing pink, and no disrespect, Started with that. This also is Smithsonian level. He's got the custom Air Michael Force Mary, ones on. Michael Mary owes that man a lot of money. I feel like Michael Mary, his like first couple of uh, capsules was designed for Joel's. All that bandana shit he been put all through. The, like Mike. the red bandana shit, all the red, whole That's, red bandana jacket. We've been, we been doing. Like, had the bandana tied in the really rims. Mean, I really mean it. Video had the bandana <laughs> snorkel on. Like, come on. It's like some Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Super dip. This is super dip. This bandana couture for yeah. sure. You super did? dip. That's a that's an extra dip right there. Support our troops. Please. It's a, it's a Very patriotic. It's that's a patriotic moment. splash yeah. right there. Patriotic yeah. splash. Bring the boys home. Please. So this is a, this is a collective super yeah. dip right He's here, right? He's a prisoner of war right there. It's so patriotic. Mm. <laughs> Incredible. Ooh. Bam. The man of the hour. Take yeah. me down this right. What's going on right here? Puddles. <laughs> Just puddles. Drenching. You dig? Yeah, drenching. If Batman could come up in Harlem, that's how he'd be looking. Ah! You heard? You, you know where he was going. the Barclays on right there, too? I was, I was fighting crime right there. Both you got a call me, you dig? What's that, the Louis Bell with the chain gang hanging? Ooh. Ben Affleck okay. just beat you out for the role. Mm -mm -mm. That's a fire fight. I love that jacket right there. That was one of my best creations thus far. One more here. That's a light drip right there. That's on a light day. That's a three-quarter level something. Uh, uh. Distress way before What's niggas is rocking distress with the Louis scarf that looked like a that looked like a, a hoodie. Ooh, Whew. with the with the hat. The, That's a the, look though. The, the color of the, the hat hoodie? matched the scarf, and then the stripes inside of the True Religion shirt matched the scarf with the hat. To the That's the and drip. you got phone positive. There's on. True Religion too. The phone pads is matched the logo on the hat. Don't don't forget that. That's a hard <laughs> right. fit right there. You dig? That's heavy drip. If That's, you could throw a number out there, how much money do you think you spent on True Religion? Yo, yo, fuck True Religion, bro. God damn it, you don't want to bring them back? No, fuck True Religion. I talked to True Religion. Uh, my mama talked to True Religion. A few people reached out to True Religion when, at the height of when we were right. making a transition and everybody, and they started making their money and I tried to do a deal with True Religion. These fuck niggas sent me a box of jeans. That was the last time I wore True Religion. Disrespectful. Damn, disrespectful. Do we got any you more? Did? Got any more fits? Oh! <laughs> I'm with that. Let's go. What's that Celtic green on Come the on, green money team. green. T What's money going on green. here? What's going on here? Where, where were you before? Did you come from the house straight here? Oh, you or you was on the that's... block, then pulled up. I might have been. I might have did, did a, a, a couple key drop off right there. Nigga looking like <laughs> money right there. <laughs> you heard? <laughs> looking like I had that thing outside waiting. Double park engine running. Ooh, the hat matched the jacket. Do the ears got the green stripe in them too? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Is there, any, is there any? Is that it? Is there any more? Yeah, any more dips? It's gotta be nothing. Any more dips? It's more dips. Don't stop. The Keep high dipping. boy, look the oh, high Lord. boys, the Nike boots. I just you got told about. Come on, Ooh, man. Oh, that's what I'm talking Come about. On, you man. see that flavor? Well, I'm giving Come you. On. I'm talking about the brown joints. That's premeditated. Is that the BB Simon that the youngsters <laughs> is wearing now? 
Is that, a, is that a crispy a, BB Simon that these youngsters is going crazy for right it's, now? It's a Look, dip. I thought it was a joke. This is I a dip. This is they a dip. Brought, they, oh, this is a dip. I'm dip biased, though, but it's a dip. For me, it's a dip. What is it for No, me? this is a dip. Brendan, I haven't asked you guys because I've just been dip. <laughs> it's dip. <laughs> dip. <laughs> We're dipping. We keep dipping. We're still dipping? Still oh. dipping. Keep <laughs> dipping. No, Jim, we got to talk I, I gotta about this. I got to disagree with this one, the pants. I can't do that. Jim, the pants are yes. actually hanging over your shoe at the bottom. Now, now let me get now Jim. let me get to this. To that equation error. doesn't add this up. This was an era of a heavy sag era. Oh, okay. Okay. Heavy, heavy sag. This much sag? The swag was in the sag. The, sa the swag was in the sag. Okay. What do you think to see the see nowadays? They trying to sweat sag with these tight ass jeans and they looking yeah, like wild. girls with their ass out. It's different. That's a heavy gangster swag right there. You could you could have benefited from a tongue fuck in that in that situation. Uh, I think. Might, yeah, <laughs> you might be right, but I the think jeans, he just like he like. But see, you gotta fuck. understand the boot cut. It couldn't really do a, a, a heavy tongue <laughs> fuck on a boot cut with a low top. Mm. It, it, it wouldn't have gave my jeans no lift. <laughs> right? I gotta I gotta you think heard? about that first. You know, a couple. I'm trying to. You got it because the hot top would have gave my jeans some lift. I wouldn't have been dragging yep. so much. Exactly. Tongue it's it's the like boot. the tongue fuck mathematics out here, man. Yeah. Like, all right, all right. It's all about the tongue. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely true. Before, <laughs> before, before we get out of here, we want to dip into the comment section and see what people have been saying about the show online. Uh, one, one last thing to What's get this, through live? here. No, not quite, uh, you know, but um, people pay attention. Over, over the past couple weeks. First one here, Kasim Abdul says, Thank God you guys are back, man, because ShoeTube was hella boring. Uh, glad to be back, I guess. Sorrell Hinson saying, I listen to Trinidad James' song, Full Size Run, every morning to get my day going along with a blunt. <laughs> full size. That's what I'm talking about. Get those Do people know what a full size run is? Stream numbers up. I hope so, man. Yeah. This is the best memory Bet of every you, Thursday. Nine times out of ten, a lot of people don't know what a full size run That's is. A big glad thing. the show is back. Can't wait till these guys get more than a million subscribers. I think we're close, Jim. <laughs> Close. That's big numbers. Matthew yeah. Bowen says, I started watching, but then I realized that I was watching on Complex, so I immediately stopped watching and came to Soul Collector. Watch it on the Soul Collector YouTube page, if you would, please. Trying to get to... Watch it everywhere. Yeah. Tell your friends to watch it wherever yeah. it makes them feel comfortable, please. okay? Well, fast. And subscribe. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Dad, turning that James. Jones. She, she, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy six for my kids, bought a seven for my... Joe the Puma gave me some good news. What did you say? Uh, you we fired? are getting our own episode of Super Shot. Oh! Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Seriously. Um, there is a caveat. Oh, boy. We have to get 200,000 subscribers on the Soul Collector YouTube page by July. How oh, no sweat. the fuck are we going to do that? Come on. We can do it. Do you want Do you want to be a star? Shit. If this makes us a star, all right. We need everybody's help. Guys. Everybody watching this, every single time, press the goddamn subscribe button. Get us to 200,000. I'm trying to show out with my boy Joe. Come on. I mean, that's a life goal, right? One of them. Okay. <laughs>